Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery here. Avery YGOs, Avery LR32, whatever it is you guys want to call me. <laughs> um, but I'm bringing you guys my Light Sworn deck profile for the, I guess you could say, June slash July format. It's with the Realm of Light structure deck support, and honestly, I love this deck. I really do. Um, this build, um, pretty much made on my own. Um, I saw a video from Robbie um, when he. He had a Light Sworn mirror match on his channel, and I was watching it, and then since it was a match, they were siding, and I saw the guy's build, so I net decked it and um, just, you know, uh, tested around with it a little bit. Um, one of the cards that um, I'm trying to fit in is Honest. I know that's, that's insane to believe that I'm not running Honest in Light Sworns. I've never really seen myself really needing it. Um, it's it's kind of iffy like now like with this build like you almost don't even need honest surprisingly enough like all the games i've played with this deck i've played like 10 games with this deck and i've won every single time and i haven't even needed honest so anyways let's just hop right into the deck and i'll explain things as we go along so we start off with triple jd i know i'm pulling the camera i apologize um there is no real easier way to do it um, so Triple JD, um, I know they're all common, I apologize. Uh, your heart and soul of the deck, basically your win condition. Um, yeah, even if you mill these, like, you, you don't really care since you're running, it's Light Sworn Rulers, really, I should say. Um, but you don't really care if you got the Dragon Rulers. And if you really need to, you could always run Digesto and Morale in your extra deck in case you want to recycle your JDs. So, there's that. Then we have Triple Light Red Diablos. Uh, light Red Diablos is just too good in this deck. The fact that I can banish a light that I don't even need in my grave, whether it's Rainbow Kribo or whatever, and then look at your revealed face down card and either put it on top or your bottom of your deck is just amazing. I was playing against Constellers earlier today and I dropped a Light Ray Diablos and he had a deep prison set, made him put it back on top of his deck, and I proceeded to beat him next turn because I just went off on my field. So, yeah, Light Ray Diablos. And I know one's common, I apologize. People are going to hate me for the Luminous. I already know that. Um, Triple Lumina, once common from the Treasure deck, a rare, and a, uh, Ultra, so, yeah, have fun with that. Um, Triple Lumina, it's, um, it's Lumina, you can pitch it, get another, pitch it, get another, and just proceed to go off. Uh, really good when you combine it with Maiden, like, if you already, like, let's say you have a dead Rainbow Creepo or Necro Garden, depending on what you're running, and then you just go play Lumina, pitch that, get out Maiden, and then just sink into Arc, it's just, it's, it's too good, way too good. And then one of each of uh, Tempest, Red Ox, and Blaster. Obviously, we're not running Tidal. Uh, Tidal is not really needed in this deck. Uh, you could always swap out Tempest for Tidal. It doesn't really matter. It's all preference, really, because you're never searching with the Dragon Rulers. Even when you banish them, there's nothing that you can search um, because you're not running any Wind Dragons other than Tempest. And then Red Ox, all you can search for himself. And same thing with Blaster. There's nothing that you can search for. Eclipse Wyvern isn't a fire, so it's it's a light, so you can't um, you can't search it off with Blaster or anything. So I mean, if you wanted to, I mean, you could technically run Tidal um, over Tempest just because Tidal is a 200 point higher beat stick. Um, it's all up to you. It really doesn't matter. Um, all the Dragon Rulers are meant for is just to get your Eclipse Wyverns out of the graveyard and just have big beat sticks on the field in order to go into rank sevens. And then we have Triple. Eclipse Wyvern, if I could pick up the cards. Triple Eclipse. Um, the fact that you're able to mill this card is just so, so good. Like, Needlebug's Nest is a thing. Like, I love going Needlebug's Nest and then milling this or going Curry Bandit and then milling this. It's just, it's too good. Um, which I also meant to mention at the beginning of this video that there are proxies. Um, there is, uh, the cards that I'm missing right now is two Curry Bandits, three Rainbow Kribos, and two um, Needlebug's Nest. So I will get to those once I get through the deck. Um, but yeah, just being able to go like even first turn Curry Bandit and face Tribute Mill 5 and milling like one or two of these, or if you're even lucky enough, all three, is just so good. It gives you like so much deck thinning. It's insane. And then we have Triple Necrogardena. This is interchangeable with Rainbow Karibo. I find Rainbow Karibo to be better. In case you don't remember what Rainbow Karibo does, it was right in the beginning of this format, if I'm not mistaken. And what it does is... Uh, Rainbow Kribo, whenever it's in your hand and your opponent declares an attack, you can play it in your spell and trap card zone as an equip spell, and then that opponent's monster cannot attack uh, the one that you target. So if they're attacking you for game with, like, let's say, a blaster or something, I apologize about the car outside or the dump truck, whatever, um, then you can go activate Rainbow Kribo from my hand, play it in my spell and trap card zone, your blaster can't attack. So, really, really nice. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just using these until I get Rainbow Kribos, because Rainbow Kribo does the exact same thing as Necro Garden. It's just better. It's technically two Necro Gardens in one. And then its second effect also is that whenever it's in your in your grave and your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon it from your grave, and then whenever it leaves the field, it's banished instead. So it's just another defensive wall. And then we have the one card trooper, um, just for milling. And then there are also um, for the monster line, it's supposed to be two curry bandits. Um, so again, just for milling, it's it's so good. Now for Lightsaur Engine, we have one wolf. I don't like more than one. Any any time that I see a deck profile of Lightsworns and I see more than one, and it's with the new Realm of Light support, I'm just like, why? Because there are going to be times when this is dead. Like I'm so glad that I only run one. Like it's just it's the perfect amount in my opinion. If you're running more than one, I mean, I hope you have a good enough explanation because I only like one. And then. I mean, I shouldn't say that that's my reason behind it, but I just feel that one is fine. I shouldn't say that just because I like one, but you know what I mean. Uh, one Jane, one Garoth, uh, one Aaron, and only one Lila. Um, one Lila's been working out fine, really. Um, Aaron, Garoth, and Jane are all staple, really. Um, more notably Ni uh, Nyla. <laughs> more notably Lila. Um, you know, I've seen some builds around two or three. It's all player preference. Um... I just find one to be fine in this build. And then for the new support, we have Triple Raiden. Uh, Raiden is so good. The fact that it's a level 4 tuner and I can mill 2 is just really, really nice. Like, like I, I when I was going against the Constellar guy earlier today, when I went for game, I went play Lumina, pitch, because I had a wolf on board. I had, like, Lumina, uh, uh, a big eye, a wolf... Uh, something like that, and then I just end up pitching uh, a card, going for um, Raiden, sinking with Raiden, Wolf, and Lumina into Star Eater, and I just proceeded to win that turn. It was it was way too good. And then finally for the new support, one Minerva. Minerva is so good. I like the fact of just being able to go Soul Charge, pitch it, draw two, mill two, and then Minerva mills you an extra card, and then it's in your grave for whenever you want to go into Arc. And then for the spells, this was the other thing I forgot to mention. There's supposed to be three Soul Charge. I don't know where the hell my third Soul Charge is. I've literally looked everywhere. I don't know where the hell it is. And I know I pulled like five when I did a Dragons of Legend pack opening on my channel. Um, so there's supposed to be three Soul Charges. I don't know why I can't find my third. Uh, and then we have Triple Solar Recharge and the One Charge. Um, pretty staple. I mean, even better now that we have the new support. And then for the traps, I only have one, unfortunately, sad face, me. But um, three Neil Bugs next. Um, so good. The fact that I can set it, and then you go MST, and then I can go chain, and then I can go mill one, mill two, mill three. Like, it's just, it's way too good. I love this card to death. It's, I never thought a card that says to send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard would be so good. Like, not gonna lie. For the extra deck. We have uh, one arc, all you need is one. Black Rose, because it's Black Rose. If I could get up the cards up. Crimson Blader, I might swap this out for Spark Dragon, not sure yet. Uh, one Leo, one Star Eater, one Fortune Tune, um, because I don't have an Alucard, and Fortune Tune's actually pretty good if you want to recycle your Minerva, or your Luminas, or your Curry Bandits, or your Card Trooper. Uh, Zen Mains, because Zen Mains. Levier, because you want to be able to get back uh, like cards that you banished with Diablos. Um, like if you banish a, uh, like a Lumina, then you can just go into Levier and detach and get it back. Uh, Exton and Honor Arc, because people hate these cards and they're just too good. Uh, Lavable Chain, because I like to get stuff in the grave. It's just too good. Um, Dracosac, because rank sevens are fun. Big Eye, because rank sevens are fun. Felgrin, because if I feel like going into a rank eight, because I can't beat you because my life points are too low and you think I'm not going to be able to do anything, I'm just going to Felgrin. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the deck. If you enjoyed a like or favorite, be appreciated. Please be sure to subscribe. That always helps tremendously. And let me know what you guys think about the new Lightsworn support in the comments down below as I try desperately hard to find my third soul charge and somehow pick up a play set of Rainbow Krivos, two Curry Bandits, and two Needle Bugs Nest. And you guys better pick up Needle Bugs Nest because now they're going up to like seven apiece. A friggin' common. So anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.